Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Outpost Suicidal, and I want ginger beer. I haven't had any in a little while, and uh, a little while is, is too long to go without ginger beer. It's too long. It's just too dang long. So I would like if I could, uh, if I could please get some more. I also haven't had any THC in a while. I need my... Uh, I mean, no, nah, actually, I still use I, I use CBD on occasion. I was gonna say I haven't had any marijuana in a while, but I'm like, no, nah, that's a lie. I had uh, I, I had I think 20 milligrams of CBD um, last Saturday, I believe. Helped me fall asleep. But I believe whenever I played D&D last, or didn't play D&D, but was supposed to, which I believe was Saturday. Um, I think I had 20 milligrams. Just helped me fall asleep. I was a little bit stressed out about the uh, the D and D stuff, so I was gonna say I don't have I haven't had marijuana in a while, but no, that's that's just factually false. I just I haven't had any um, I haven't had any of the good stuff, you know what I mean? So I might I might order some some THC. I'm not a huge fan of THC, um, but the effect is kind of uh, a much stronger. It's kind of like exactly what CBD is, but just more pronounced. In like every possible way. Which is, uh, at times nice. The last time I had it was definitely a bad trip. <laughs> it was not pleasant. Um, so I just, I kind of haven't had it again. I just haven't ordered any or, or you know. So it, was, it was definitely a bad trip. No doubt about that. Um, so I might, I might order some, some THC oil maybe. Um, but it was, uh, I don't know, I, 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 uh, I, I think I, I had it on accident before I was going to record, and then I felt really bad, um, and then, uh, like, I, I think I had, like, extra that time, too, and then I was, like, having to record, and I, I just, I felt terrible, and then the whole thing was just, like, ruined, because... You know, with, with, with THC, if, if you if you don't have, if you, it'll help you with anxiety. But sometimes it just like multiplies that anxiety. You know, so if something bad happens like while you're a little uh, high. It's not pleasant. Um, it, sometimes it's fine. Sometimes you're just like, eh, whatever. But but like when the, in my experience, as somebody who's barely ever used it, um, when using it itself brings you like anxiety because like you know you used it and you shouldn't have or something like that it's just panic you know because you're, you're trying to be normal and you just you can't hold up to it and you know you can't and you know you're disappointing people and you know it's like feeling bad and it's uh, a bad experience all around so I don't necessarily recommend it and I just I haven't um a bad trip, that is. THC, I, I wholeheartedly recommend if you're interested in le of legal age. Um, uh, but I, I don't necessarily recommend having a bad trip. Funny that! Local YouTuber does not recommend having a bad trip. Who would have thought? Uh, yeah, anyway. So I might, uh, might order some more of that. If I do, it'll be oil. I hate the taste of oil. Like, I, I take CBD oil on occasion, and it just... Like, every time I take it, I want to, like, throw up. I, like, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm being completely sincere. It's terribly disgusting. Uh, every single time I take it, I want to throw up. Because, like, the thing is, is when you, when you, when you take just oil orally, you have to, like hold it in your mouth or something is is what I've heard that's that's what all of the things I've looked up tell you to do and it's been working so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna say it works um, but apparently you have to like hold it like under your tongue or something so that's what I've been doing and it works so I trust it um, and uh, that whole time is under your mouth you, you can like Faintly taste it, um, and uh, 
But it's not that bad, you know, when it's when it's when it's under your, your tongue. Not that bad, not that bad. Like seriously not that bad. Uh, you have to like hold it there for like a minute or something. I don't know, I, I hold it there. Like typically when I do it I'll like I'll uh, I'll I'll get everything ready. Squirt some some oil into my mouth, clean everything up, put it all away. You know, wash up, uh, clean up you know, all of the mess and whatever oils happen to 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 get onto something. It's not much. Like I'm not spilling my my precious oil, but like, you know, you 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 got a bottle full of oil. You're gonna get maybe a drop, like a not even a drop, but like just a a little wetness here or there. And uh, just make sure it's all nice and and cleaned up. All nice and good and stuff, so that the, the cat doesn't end up getting any or whatever. Um, and then at that point, I'll, I'll typically, you know, wait a moment and then uh, swallow it. Um, and uh, it's that swallowing that just oh, it's it's terribly disgusting. That's how I've that's how I've, I've read to take it anyway. The oils. Yeah, it's been working. I don't, I don't know. Maybe there's a better way to take oil. I think you can use it in like cooking too, so you can like make your own edibles or something if you want. Um, which I don't know. I might try, but uh, for me, it's just kind of like I don't know. I just don't really care. It's 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 a, it's a couple of minutes of. It's a couple of minutes of of like grossness, you know, and then, well, typically when I do. CBD oil, it, it's about an hour and a half to two hours um, of uh, anxiety free, well not quite free, but much less extreme life, which is, uh, is pleasant for sure. Oh my god, my hair, man. Okay, there we go. Now we're okay. Um, so it's, uh, it's been nice. I might I might try out some some THC oil because it's cheap is the thing it's like it's like 30 bucks for 30 milligrams of, uh, of of THC it's like a buck a milligram you know and uh, like for me 30 milligrams of THC or is, is it 30 milligrams of THC no 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 like I'm so 300 is what I, I, I missed a zero it's like 30 bucks for like 300 milligrams of THC which is like, I was looking at it, I'm like, hold up, 30 milligrams does not seem like a lot of THC. <laughs> um, but no, 300 milligrams for like 30 bucks is, is like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's a, yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, so, uh, I just, um, Anyway, I, uh, I, I I like that kind of from an economical perspective. I just like th 300 milligrams of THC. I don't know why I'm like so out of out of sorts right now. Um, 300 milligrams of THC is enough to last easily like months, you know. Like that's that's not an amount of time that uh, that's not an amount that I'm gonna use up in a few days. Like even even if, like if I were to do it. Like once, twice. If I were to, if I were to do, you know, twice a week, or take some THC oil twice a week, it would still last me like a month or two, probably. Like I just, I, I don't, I don't need much to, to feel an effect, and um, I don't, I don't particularly care for using it too much anyway. But I haven't had any in a while. I haven't had any THC in a while. CBD, yeah, but THC, no. Just for me, the feeling of being high, that like euphoric kind of highness that you get from uh, from THC that you don't get from CBD it's okay well no actually I'm I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of lying to myself with that it's awesome but um, it's 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 also kind of it, it's got its own problems as well you know like it's it's an awesome feeling for sure when you're high and and it's not a bad trip um, Awesome, awesome feeling, but it's also kind of like not what you always want to be feeling. You know what I mean? Like, like other days, I like I feel awesome when I like 
you know, hit a thousand elo in chess yesterday or today, whenever it was, I actually don't remember. Um, uh, you know, that, that also feels awesome, and it's like, you know, some, sometimes you want the, the THC awesome, sometimes you want the chess awesome, sometimes you want the type racer awesome, sometimes you want the, you know, the YouTube analytics awesome, sometimes you want, uh, you know, whatever kind of awesome you got, so it's, it's not always that, that you want it, right? So it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's a great feeling, extremely good, very pleasant, but uh, not like necessarily just kind of like objectively good either you know what I mean so for me I just uh, if, if I if, if you know I, I, I don't know if, if I could do it every day and kind of limit the amount of time that it affected me maybe I would maybe and you know if there were no you know kind of like fiscal um, <laughs> problems with that that's 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 getting into Let's get into some 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 budgetary constraints at that point, but uh, for sure, like if I could, uh, you know, have it any day for for as long as I want, um, at you know whatever time frame I want, um, with with no financial requirements, maybe maybe I would take that, you know, maybe maybe I would, you know, get high every day, um. But, you know, I, I end up taking some THC and I'm high for like two hours or something. You know, you can smoke it or whatever and it doesn't last as long. But I don't want to smoke it because that's bad for your lungs. Even if the, the THC itself isn't really that bad for you, like at all. Um, there, there really isn't any problems to it. Like as, as long as you're, you know, like 25 or something like that. Like it, it does have a negative impact on like the development of your brain. But my brain... Ain't developing no more, so, uh, GG. Get high. It's, uh, the G is silent in the, in the high. Um. Yeah, I know it's, uh, I, I don't, like, always want to be high for two hours. You know, some, some days I'm just like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll get high for, like, half an hour or something like that. But I, um... And, you know, you don't always have the time for it. You don't always have necessarily the uh, the, the desire to, to commit that kind of uh, an investment of uh, financial contribution towards your uh, your pleasant night. Um, and yeah, you, just, you don't necessarily want to. But if I if I could kind of limit it. You know, be like high for like a half an hour, an hour, or like cancel it whenever I want. Yeah, maybe. You know, you might be able to. You might be able to, to make an argument, but you can't. I can't. I can't do that. You know, not with uh, not with just edibles, oils. You know, topicals. I don't know if you can get high off of topicals. I think it's mostly just for pain relief. Um, <laughs> but you know, you can't. You can't like limit it too much from that, right? So I, I believe it's just the um, the the smoking it or um, vaping or. You know, that kind of stuff where the, the time is a much more controllable aspect of the uh, the experience. And again, I don't want to do that because it's not for me. I'm led into that smoke in life. It's too bad for your lungs. I don't want to end up in the hospital like in 70 years. Ah, well, no, I'm not, not quite old and I'm not quite young enough to end up in the hospital for 70 years from now. Um, I'll be dead 70 years from now. Um, I don't want to end up in the hospital, you know, like 50, 60 years from now. I mean, at least I hope I'll be dead 70 years from now. And I don't want to be alive when I'm 95. I don't know, maybe, maybe I do. Maybe the, the medical advancements by then will, will let me have a happy, fulfilling life at 95. I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised. I, I think I'd rather go before then. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's not a decision I have to make right now. It's like at that point, all your people, like, you know, everybody's died. and Who are you, you going to stick around with, right? You might have, like, uh, grandkids or something like that, but... I mean, I much love your grandkids at a certain point. It's just, you know what? I'm, I'm sick of living. <laughs> I'm, uh, I've done enough. I'm going to go uh, sleep forever. And for me, I hope that's, um, 
Evidently between 60 and 70 years from now. Because apparently 60 years from now I'm thinking about not being stuck in a hospital because of uh, lung cancer. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get back to you in, in 67 years. Let you know how I'm feeling about it. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to be stuck in a, in a hospital in the future. So uh, no smoking for me. No smoking for me. I mean, I'm probably like the the, the, the I don't know the the the, the realist the realistic sort of look at it is uh, you know I'm on uh, kind of experimental drugs at the moment. Who the heck knows where I'm going to be in 60 years? Maybe I have like I don't know three arms. I definitely won't have three arms, but. It's, uh, it's called hyperbole. It's called hyperbole. I don't know, maybe I should order some THC. I want, uh, I want ginger beer, though. That's the moral of the story, okay? I want some, uh, some blackberry ginger beer mixed with, uh, with, with some vodka, perhaps. And, uh, you know what? Maybe add a little bit of, uh, maybe add a little bit of, uh, of a lime in there as well. You know, some blackberry ginger beer with vodka and lime juice. Many people might say, hey, that's just a Blackberry Moscow Mule. You'd be dang right. You'd be gosh darn right. I want a Blackberry Mule. They're really good, dude. Last time I had one would have been uh, a year ago. About a year ago. Um, we were at a uh, restaurant, I believe for like my sister's birthday or my mother's birthday or something. I can't remember. Um, and I had, I had a Blackberry Mule. And it was, uh, it was the most delightful drink I'd ever had. I think it might have, might have been two years ago. I don't know. It might have been like, you know, Easter. I don't know. I don't remember these things, dude. This is an unimportant memory. Um, the, the day I had... My first blackberry mule. Um, but I, I tried it then. That's the only it's the only one I've ever had of a blackberry mule, anyway. And uh, it, was, it was the most delightful alcoholic drink I've ever had. It truly was. You go through this part. I liked it. I liked it. I'd like to have more. Um, they're not hard to make, like it is just ginger beer, um, vodka and lime juice mixed together in the right ratios, which is like, you know, just put them in the right ratios. I still want to make my own ginger beer. I think, I think you just have to like put ginger in like a can and fill it with like, I don't know, sugar or something. And some yeast, brewer's yeast or something. And then uh, wait and uh, you get ginger beer. Which is, it's probably, I don't know, is it, like, what's the difference between beer and wine? Because they're made, like, in a similar fashion, right? Aren't they? Aren't they? I don't know. Is, is, is wine made from fruit and beer is made from anything else? But, like, pretty much, they're, they're based on the same kind of fundamental concept of just fermenting sugars. Cause like if you make like wine from peaches, you have peach wine. If you do the same thing from ginger, it's ginger beer. Is that just cause ginger isn't a fruit? I do not know. It's like, it's like exactly the same process though, basically. I believe, isn't it? I don't know, I do not know the, the technical difference between beer and, and wine. What constitutes you know, the... Is, is wine, like, sweeter? I don't know. I don't know, dude. No, I need to know, though. What is the difference between beer and wine? Wine is made by fermenting the juice of crushed fruits and then bottling the beverage, whereas beer is made by turning grains into a mash Brewing the mash with hops and spices, and then letting the mash ferment with the addition of yeast. Okay. So, yes. 
basically, except you have to have grain. So then why is ginger beer called a beer then? Why is ginger beer called beer? Traditional ginger beer originated in England in the mid-1800s and was a product of fermenting and brewing ginger with water and sugar. Yeah. Uh, resulting in a drink with about 11% alcohol, according to the kitchen.com, with no E in the kitchen. In, in kitchen. In the, there is an E. So the kitchen. With, with no E in kitchen. Anyway. Modern ginger beer is not fermented, but is instead carbonated, making it a soft drink. I call that ginger ale, personally. Um, ginger beer... I would consider it to be fermented, and that's the kind of stuff that I personally like. Um, so why is it called beer? They just called it beer? That's definitely just more wine, though. Weird. So it's not a beer. So it's not a beer, but it's also not a wine because it's not made from fruit. But it is just, like, basically making wine from ginger. You're just like adding your own sugar and your own water. So could you do it with like anything then? Like could you make like nutmeg beer? Like I don't know why you would want to, but hold up. <laughs> Can you make nutmeg beer? Although nutmeg is often sold as a ground powder, the essential oils not what I'm... Okay, yeah. The essential oils are oxidized after grinding, and therefore nutmeg is best when freshly grated. It can be added to wart in the kettle, usually at the very end of the boiler, and is a popular spice in pumpkin ales and holiday beers. Not... what I'm looking for. Uh, ginger beer with nutmeg instead. No, it's just telling me ginger beer recipes that I'm not making them. Okay, but like it's because ginger isn't naturally like I don't believe there's there's too many sugar like there's not much sugar in ginger, hence why you have to add in your own sugar. So kind of just looking at it from sort of a just 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 bear with me here. It's kind of stupid, but like could you like put I don't know water and sugar together? And then fill it with, like, rosemary? And make, like, a rosemary wine? Talk about rose wine. Rosé. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just, I don't. I always call it rose wine. Rose, rosé is, like, the an, an amalgam of, of, uh, of red and white wine, I believe, right? I think. It's kind of like a pinkish wine. It's a good wine. I like it. A lot of people don't, but uh, I'm not a fan of red or white wine, but I do like rosé, which I believe is uh, just combining the two. I believe you like mix the grapes or whatever. Um, yeah, like 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 ginger beer, it, it's just ginger, water, and sugar that gets fermented. So I, I just like I just I need to know. I need to know. This is important because why couldn't you just replace the ginger with with whatever like flavoring you wanted? Like, why does it have to be ginger? Like, could you replace it with, like... I was gonna say oranges, but, like, you can just make orange wine. Um, orange, oranges have enough sugars in them. Or if they don't, you know, it'd be, it's a fruit. It wouldn't... You know, duh. Um, but, like, I don't know, like... I'm trying to think of other things you might want to make. Uh, why did I go into the corner exactly? I'm unsure, so we won't see a win in this one. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but like, why can't you replace the ginger with something else? Like, like, like rosemary or, or thyme or, or like mushrooms. I don't know. Do you want mushroom beer? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like, why does it have to be ginger? If 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 like it's it's just it's just you're just making alcohol juice, right? With the water and the sugar that gets fermented, right? Right? Like, that's 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 just what you're doing. It's just making alcohol water. <laughs> um, and then you're just infusing ginger into it. So why, why can't you just replace the ginger with something else? I can't think of anything you'd want to replace the ginger with. Like... 
I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying real hard. Um, onions, maybe? I, they might have enough sugars in them anyway. Maybe, maybe ginger has something in it that's like necessary for the fermentation. But like, you could probably just substitute that too. But like, that, like, like my, my argument, I guess, is why is ginger beer called ginger beer and not like... I don't know. I guess kind of answers my own question. But like ginger infused alcohol water. Because <laughs> it's a stupid name, Charlotte. Come on. But um, yeah, why is it why is it called ginger beer? Because it's not made like beer. There's no hops. There's no you know grains or anything. There's no mash of stuff. It's just uh, a, a root vegetable. It's a vegetable, right? Ginger's a vegetable. Back to Google. Is it's ginger a vegetable? I believe so, right? It's a root. It's a root vegetable. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sure. It's 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 the root of the ginger plant, but like those are vegetables, right? I'd call them vegetables. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Why is it called ginger beer? I need to know. If anybody knows. If I can make nutmeg beer. Or like rosemary beer. With with the same kind of method as, as making ginger beer, you know. A bottle of, of rosemary water and sugar. And then just like strain it and I don't know. Add whatever yeasts or whatever has to be in it. To, to actually get the fermentation going on properly. Like, can I not just do that? Is that not a thing I can just do then? I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.